Welcome to Latina Sun Mass. So the title is My Husband and I Conceived After Divorce, Conflicted and Heartbroken. Okay. So they have a child after they divorced. So interesting. This is long, long, long. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a very long text. I am kind of trying to speed it up. Okay. Maybe I'm not going to read all of it. So if, if any one of you wants to read the whole story, you want to read it on yourself or just make a deep dive onto the comments, I will link them above. So, or you will find it on our Instagram. You can always go check them out. So let's get to the story. Um, I've sort of written a novel here. <laughs> I wanted to post this in a relationship advice group, but the subject matter isn't allowed. Um, relationship advice is another subreddit where yeah. people ask for yes advice on relationship. Um, probably it was kind. Of, I think maybe because of the type because of she situation. wasn't seeking advice. She she just wants to yeah. Get it we out we, of we will see, but okay. there was probably a reason why it was rejected. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So. My ex-husband and I were married for 10 years, although the last two were spent in variations of separation. Okay. We've been divorced for roughly a year. We have three kids, 10, 8, and 5. I'm pregnant with our fourth baby. I don't know if we'll actually be parents to four kids or not. I'm so conflicted. We are so conflicted. There was no abuse or cheating in our marriage, although he did sleep with somebody else during our separation. There are a variety of other reasons why we ultimately got divorced. After the initial feelings of failure and heartache, there was an immense amount of heartache on my end. Despite being the one who filed for divorce, we were able to get along pretty well. It became platonic so quickly, and it's like when we removed the romantic and married relationship from the equation, things got so much better. We split time with our kids 50-50, That's really hard for me because being a mom is such a huge part of my identity that I still sometimes struggle to know what to do with myself during this time with the kids. Ultimately, I'm happy that he's loving, involved father, and I'm glad that they do spend half their time with him, even if I sometimes cry over not being with them all the time. We still do things together as family sometimes. We see other kids' activities, things like that. He has a girlfriend now. Mm. She seems nice. He let her not long after a divorce was fi- um, he met her. Ah, uh, met her. Okay. There was a typo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not long after our divorce was finalized. It hurt. I cried way too much over it. He waited over six months to introduce her to our kids, which I was thankful for. My kids like her. Our youngest child was unexpectedly admitted to the hospital not long ago. He had surgery. In the grand scheme of things, it was pretty minor surgery and he's absolutely fine now. But this is my baby and he had spent multiple nights in the hospital. So this was a big deal for me. My ex-husband was there the entire time, being a great dad, being a supportive partner to me as I worried over every little thing. It doesn't sound like they're separating in a way. Mm, She's yeah. very much still in love with him, yeah. We spent all those nights in the hospital together and I remembered why I married him. (laughs) Mm. He was always able to be the strong, level-headed rock for me. He was this safe person who I knew would take care of everything and protect me. When we were in the hospital, he told me that I'm the most important woman in his life still. Mm, Poor woman who is together with him. That has potential for a telenovela. (laughs) Yes. You know, he Ooh. telling her that while the girlfriend is just looking from behind, you know, <laughs> <laughs> from the window. Oh no, <laughs> she's hearing it because he's um, accident on his phone, but he doesn't know it's recording. It's he, like he, oh. I, her iPhone. <laughs> no, his iPhone was uh, just like in his bag, calling her, <laughs> and she could listen to absolutely everything. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> and then from the back, you can listen like her bo- voice saying like, "What the." And then she hangs up the phone and is so hurt. But then the wife tells him, but I can never get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And it's exactly. like, no. <laughs> She just listens like the, the worst part yeah. of the conversation for her feelings <laughs> and emotions. That's, that's true. Okay. We should make a tell them I love this. Well, let's, let's continue. Um, when our son was discharged, my ex-husband came home to my house. My baby was home safe. I don't know why she wrote that in capital letters, but yeah. My baby was home safe. Our other two children were excited to be home after staying with my husband's sister for several nights. 
We were all sorry, the- sorry. Wait a minute. So the baby that was just born is her fourth child. Um, I I don't think it is yet born. I think we're still getting to that <laughs> that baby. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go it on, gets go confusing. On. Yeah, it yeah. is a lot. Um, okay. We were all together at home like a family again. That night, after our kids were in bed, we had sex. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So the telenovela does get spicier. (laughs) Yeah. Wait, does it mean he did cheat on his girlfriend? What a bad boy. (laughs) What a playboy. I I almost forgot that, actually. You first cheat on your wife, and then you get a new girlfriend (laughs) just to cheat her. Cheat Cheat on her with your wife? With your ex-wife. That is a new life. Oh my goodness. Like the balls that you need to have, you know? But, anyway. you know, for, for, for a second I was like, I mean, they do have feelings for each other. And then, then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait Men, a minute. Typically. Okay. Um, I hadn't been hoping for it or planned it. I hope you didn't plan that. It was just like as soon as the kids were tucked away, I'm their rooms were having this intensely passionate needy amazing sex that we shouldn't have been having as he has a girlfriend yes Uh uh (laughs) we went to sleep in my bed and at some point in the middle of the night we had sex again oh so two (laughs) times in a row (laughs) not just once one moment no no on the same night man have you ever have you ever been that horny that it I know this is a personal <laughs> question right no, now, but, no, it's just, <laughs> but <laughs> and what are you getting? That horny that I would cheat twice in a night? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, does that, is that, maybe you can uh, tell us in the comments, like, does that happen? That you're so horny that you want to cheat on your girlfriend twice in the in a night? Maybe uh, I'm just too innocent. No, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I do get that you can have intense you know longing yeah you can be horny feeling. you can be yeah horny i mean i for, did yeah for sure have those feelings yeah. from time to time but you know i think there's still this boundary that you keep that you never cross to you know because you don't want to cheat right. i guess in their situation it's just i think part of it is they're so yeah. used to be together that right. it was easy to you know overstep this boundary you know, but usually after the first time of doing it, I yeah, would you assume. Feel regret. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would assume that you would feel like yeah. shit. You know, I mean, for, you should have been the... like, "What did I do? <laughs> exactly. This was dumb." <laughs> no, they were like, "Okay, we woke up in the night and we do it again." <laughs> mm, Jesus. Okay. Did go you do on. it a third time or what? <laughs> go on. Okay. okay, the next morning we both decided our emotions with the whole situation with our son just got the better of us two times. I mean, sorry. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, we said we didn't regret sleeping together. Oh, I'm sorry. They didn't regret it. Then please break up with your girlfriend because I... Apparently, <laughs> I feel so bad for her right now for the girlfriend. Yeah, you know. me too. She just accepted like a divorced man with two or three children. With three children. With yeah. three children already. Okay, I lost count because there are yeah. so many children involved <laughs> in this story. But she accepted him. Yes. Even yeah. though yeah. he was who he was, and he still had the guts to cheat on her twice. Yeah, and and he <laughs> met her he... shortly after the divorce. Jeez. And it's like, oh, okay. I mean, yes, I, I get it. It is a stressful situation. I mean, your son is in the hospital and you get <laughs> emotional. Yeah, you get emotional and horny for some reason. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. yeah, no, I, I do get the part of the anxiety and your partner or your ex-husband is there and the comfort. But yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, she said passionate and, you know, uh, needy, <laughs> um, needy, amazing sex. It's like... Um, Please break up and then have, you know, friends with benefits with, with your ex-wife or whatever. But yeah. just, okay. Okay. <laughs> How does he then tell us? I actually don't remember. Is this writing from... <laughs> uh, okay, I think so, it was. But yeah. Okay, yeah. did you lose the text or... No, or I, I just was you? quickly thinking like, do we even know if this is, was written from his wife? But yeah, I, it, it has to be his wife. Yes, uh, okay, yes. Okay, I just okay. quickly forgot. Um, okay, so... We said we didn't regret sleeping together, but that's all it was. And we were just going to go back to our normal divorced lives. We wouldn't make it awkward. Just move on. 
Then I found out I was pregnant. See, now we're talking about the fourth child. We didn't use a condom. Jeez. (laughs) That's why they had three children in the first place. Because apparently they can know a lot of things, but not anything about condoms. Oh my goodness. (laughs) I don't even have condoms in my house anymore. (laughs) I am not on birth control. (laughs) I haven't been since we divorced. And, you know, again, doing it the first time, you know, out of the heat, being stupid, whatever. Okay. But you did it a second time. <laughs> being like, you know, birth control doesn't matter. Condoms doesn't matter. Who cares? <laughs> My emotions or the emotions of other people doesn't matter. I wake up in the middle of the night after having <laughs> sex and I have to do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the same asshole. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, so she got pregnant with a third child. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. I haven't needed it since I haven't had the time or interest in starting dating again. I really wanted to be single for a while. Well, Let's be honest. She never got over him. Yes. That's the yes. situation. Okay. That okay. is, yeah, okay. apparent. Mm. Um, I know I was ovul- ovulating when we slept together. Oh, my goodness. She knew she was o- ovulating. So <laughs> you wanted that baby. Yeah. You planned it. <laughs> you wanted it. Don't lie to us. <laughs> okay. And then? Oh, my goodness. I, I can't, sorry, mm. <laughs> really, with, oh my god. Um, <laughs> I know I was ovulating when we slept together, which was probably a contributing subconscious factor as to why it happened. <laughs> ah, so she knows that she's like... It was probably... A bitch. <laughs> a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she never got over him. I think she subconsciously maybe hoped that being pregnant again would bring them close again oh. and he would come People, back. People, we're living in the 21st century. Could you please stop believing that a child is going to solve your relationship problems? Yes, because oh it my won't. God. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, my body sees him being a good dad to our kids and it wants another. There you said it. You wanted another. Right. My cycle is like clockwork and we've always conceived on the first try every time we've tried to get pregnant. She knew it would happen. No, mm. she hoped and she knew it would happen. Mm. Our first kid was not even a try. It was a two weeks before your wedding. You find out you're pregnant and spend your honeymoon with morning sickness. Surprise. Mm. Okay, that's not cool. Well... So now I'm about eight weeks pregnant. I found, I, I've known for about a week. I just told him this past weekend. I didn't know if I would tell him at all. I realize now that I only told him in hopes that he'd tell me what to do and figure the situation out for me. Only he didn't. Oh, oh. my goodness. She expected that he would say, I will dump my girlfriend. I will come back to you and we will have this child together and be a family again. Aren't divorces supposed to be so traumatizing that people (laughs) usually tend to hate each other for the rest of their lives? Like, I don't Uh, get it. I don't get it. Like, why? Anyway. I mean, um, ideally, ideally, uh, you you would you need to co-parent together as you still have three children. So. Maybe, you know, stick with the platonic part or the friends part and caring for your children and less the sex part and having another child mm. together. Well, well, or at least if you both want that, then okay. But um, she planned it and without his well, consent, half consent, I don't know if he knew <laughs> that she was overlading yeah, and we're everything. we're not law experts or anything, yeah. but that doesn't seem to be like... That doesn't 100% sound really good. Um, okay, so I know it makes no sense to have a baby with somebody I choose to divorce. I don't need a fourth child. Why can't I let go of this, though? Well, because it already happened. Mm. It, you did plan it. Mm. You hoped it would happen. Now it happened. You didn't get the reaction you wanted. And now you're lost because you hoped it would repair the family. I'm really hating on this person. So I'm like, like, oh like super judging him. Right <laughs> yes, I'm like, this is not just crazy. <laughs> You're a bitch. <laughs> just admit it for, for God's sake. Okay. Uh, not what this story th- was wild. Uh, yeah, definitely wild. <laughs> so what is but your I mean, <laughs> There was not a second in the narrative where she thought or she reminded herself why she even divorced him in the first place. Like, yeah, she just wrote. 
Uh-huh. That you remembered why she married him. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We, don't, we don't. We know nothing why they divorced. I mean, yeah, okay, cheating was one thing. But she mentioned other stuff, like... A variety of other reasons why we ultimately got divorced. Mm. And what were the comments or what did people say about <laughs> this story? Yeah, I think we already had a lot of comments. <laughs> <laughs> so, hmm. first comment. What was his response when you told him? OP. Um, didn't say anything at first. I finally was like, say something. He said he didn't know what to do to say. He thought I was on birth control. A baby was not what we needed. He was in shock. Um, the reply was, <laughs> yeah, I can <laughs> see that being an appropriate response. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So that actually confirms my point. In a way, I mean... Yeah, he chose to have sex with her two times. Mm-hmm. But, you know, she knew she was ovulating. She knew they didn't use birth control and, and no condom. Apparently, he thought she was on birth control. That does feel icky, you know? Mm. It feels a little... Yeah, she planned that and she kind of is now baby trapping him in a way. Right. Well, no, she is baby trapping him, actually. And was hoping for him to be happy about this. Yeah. Yeah. So another uh, commenter writes to that comment then, the girlfriend has a right to know about the infidelity so that she may decide for herself whether or not to leave. Thank you. Yes. Oh my goodness, the girlfriend. Poor woman. I mean, how would you react if you were be the girlfriend and you find out about it? What would oh, the my first goodness. thing you would do? Would you would you just take your chancla and like <laughs> just like throw it to him, or what would you do? I mean, depending. I think it just it just depend if you uh, if he tells you or if you if someone else tells you or if you find it out on yourself right. because that always makes it worse. So if he would tell you, how if he would, would you? be upfront and be like, "It was shit. Uh, it happened. I am so sorry." I mean, I would be hurt. I would. I would be angry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. I think, yeah. I think in some ways, I. Th- <laughs> Sorry, I need to laugh because you're saying it like really like what everyone probably would feel like. I feel angry. I feel sad. I yeah, feel I mean, I mean, I am. I'm really trying to imagine yeah, myself yeah, in the situation, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if that would be just me. But I think the girlfriend, in some ways, did notice their chemistry, and I think it is always kind of. I mean, I, I I imagine it being really hard when you meet someone new. This person has three kids. Uh, his ex-wife is still in the picture because they co-parent together. That, and it that will is always a, be in the picture. Always you know? will be. Mm-hmm. And I think especially in situations where they, yeah, they said they had a platonic friendship, which is great. But I think in some ways you probably always kind of know that this was his first love, probably. You kind of come in second and please correct me if someone made different experiences i'm just trying to imagine the situation <laughs> if um, someone has ever married a crazy woman who has <laughs> chi- three <laughs> children with you and still decides yeah to but have a yeah I, I, I just imagine being that girlfriend i think you always worry that something like that could happen and when it actually happens that word hurts so extremely mm. because it would be confirming your worst thoughts you gave all of you to this man and his kids and accepted the situation which was a lot to do mm. assuming that you did that of course yeah um and then being you know backstabbed like that poor woman seriously i i wouldn't know what to feel or think i mean i just well i think that an important fact uh, factor that yeah. isn't mentioned here is time is the time yeah. you know like how yeah. long were they separated and like how long has yeah. this man been officially with the girlfriend yeah. you know because if i would be the girlfriend and we've been together for i don't know seven years oh, then yeah, yeah. i would have already kind of have an attachment to the children and maybe already accepted the situation yeah. or the fact that the ex-wife will always be like in the big picture mm-hmm. but if they've just you know started dating if it would be like the first months of dating i would immediately leave and not give a fuck well <laughs> i think in in both cases please immediately leave <laughs> no seriously i mean yeah. of course i don't know what if he's gonna tell everything or not but Two times, and now they have a fourth baby together. Even if he decides he doesn't want it. If she was having it, they're having another baby. It's just, 
you don't want to be in this kind of messy relationship. They need to figure out their lives. Get out of it. If you're the girlfriend, get out. <laughs> <laughs> If you're in this improbable situation yes. that happens to probably 1% of the population around the world, <laughs> let us know what would you I do. <laughs> <laughs> so asking you now, um, problematic or solvable, this situation? Uh, it would have been solvable. I don't know, like in these stories, <laughs> at the very beginning, like the first things uh, or the first red flags could have been easily solvable. Mm -hmm. But at the end, they just became problematic It became in really a way that there's no way to repair the damage. No, I mean, there's so much damage that happened on multiple levels, like the ex-wife not telling the truth about birth control, not giving him a warning and having sex a second time. And now this whole baby situation is huge betrayal. Um, bringing a new life to the world. Yeah, but it's also breaking consent. I mean, yeah. obviously he, he did choose to have sex with her, but he wasn't really informed on the situation. He could have asked too, but... At least the second time around, she kind of could so should have said something like, yeah. look, I am ovulating. I am not using yeah. birth control. We need to do something. Or she should have taken like the, um, the pill for afterwards, you know, like the oh, emergency yeah, pill. Yes, like, exactly. If yeah. you knew you were you ovulating, yeah. like, bitch, why, why that, didn't you? Showing that she wanted that pill. She <laughs> did hope for it. I, mean, I think in this episode, I will sound like very like... Um, You know, not on the, the favor, <laughs> not on the side of woman right now. But, but it's yeah, just like she's strange. She, she's like it, it is, just not it doing is. the right thing. You know? Yeah, and then it's also problematic for you know the man, the the husband, um, ex husband. I mean, you're in a relationship. What are you doing? <laughs> not even taking out the fact that she's pregnant now. It's like yeah. two times. And by the way, in this whole situation, did the girlfriend knew he was in a hospital and would sleep there? Did she not knew? It's just so many questions, but it's just <laughs> problematic in every was, aspect. <laughs> problematic, definitely. Oh, so, 